let's see where's hello 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 where my hoes at hello how's everybody doing don't think i started without you why well, kind of did i'm gonna be doing pink woohoo bitch hi monica hi nails by lisbeth hi Z zadia so girl me pasa de verga con este tamaño but so originally i wanted to try the new 3x coffin but bitch i want the little so i kind of measured the the tip to be that length and bitch this shit is big big okay hi amber pink is your color yes i love pink so i'm gonna put you guys on my stand over here so i could continue my nails hold on hold on let me switch y'all and I'm using the Glow Acrylic, the pink one, the Glow Pink from my website. Just in case anybody wondering. Hopefully that is good. I'm too ready. Um, and again, I'm going to be using my opposite hand. So a bitch is going to be hella slow. Okay. So how's everybody doing? Love a life with you. Pink is my favorite. I love pink. So let's see. I was thinking I'm going to do pink on this finger and these two nails. And then the other two are a secret. You're an inspiration doll. You're the best at doing nails. Oh, thank you. I am not the best, but I try. I try. So I should totally be using a bigger brush, but I could barely handle anything with my right hand because I'm a lefty so I'm gonna do my regular number 12 brush hi everyone how's everybody doing and I'm using the smooth set monomer from my website that allows me to apply this nice and smoothly um so if your acrylic dries like hella fast or super super slow it gives you enough time to like play with it and that's perfect because you know this right hand of mine is like I don't know it disobeys sometimes hey would you could have waited till I was at work sorry girl <laughs> you're not dominant hand yes girl I'm a lefty so I'm doing my opposite hand So, I was like, I'm not going to go live. I'll just watch Hulu. I did watch Hulu. Meanwhile, I prepped my nails and all of that. But then I was like, nah, let me just go chat with some bitches. With some bitches that are bored. So, y'all can have something to watch. And did I mention that it, they glow, honey? They glow. Yes, Karine. I love glow. Do you know why maybe my acrylic brush gets big? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by big. But if you have acrylic stuck in your bristles, it does kind of get a little wild. Maybe try cleaning it. Or maybe you have a big brush. I don't know. Lastima no entender nada. Solo español. Ay, sorry, Mari. Es que se me sale el inglés primero. Pero estoy diciendo de que me estoy haciendo mis uñas con mi mano. Um, yo soy zurda, so estoy usando mi mano derecha ahorita. Y estoy usando un acrílico que brilla en la noche es como un glow stick I 
I turned off the AC para que no se me seque rápido. Hi, Zuzu. Hi. Zulay, why does white why, why does white glue even though it's on the fridge girl se puso bien pinche duro okay so i'm not sure why people think the refrigerator is gonna save your glue well it does save it from drying up but if you have it for a long time it's still going to dry up and it gets stuck if you have glue on the rim so make sure to clean it clean the neck of the bottle so it doesn't get stuck Okay, some people put cuticle oil. I normally don't really care if it gets crusty, but I don't close it all the way. So that's another thing. I just threw away the one that I had last time. I'll show you guys. It's still right here in my trash can. I literally just threw it away. So Normally, my glues, they're crusty. Like, I can't even close them how crusty they are. But I don't really mind as long as it's kind of sealed it won't like fully dry up i've had mine for a few months and it finally i mean it's still kind of wet in there like it works but i'm afraid i'm gonna tip it over and then i'm gonna be fucked with my table so that's why i threw it away but i always leave mine not closed because then i'm never gonna be able to open it so just make sure to if you do want to close it not to close it too too tight and clean the neck, okay? Because in the refrigerator, um, by keeping it cold, you're just extending the shelf life of the glue. Because glue dries up over time. You know? You know, you know. But a lot of people think the same thing. That it's not going to get stuck if it's in the refrigerator. But it'll get stuck. Anything will get stuck. Even my eyeliner... It's all over the rim and it, it dried and it got stuck, but I was able to open it. I love how your monomer and acrylic dry slower and smooth setting. It gives me time to get a perfect cuticle application without running everywhere. Oh, thanks, Erica. I know I used to struggle with um, my acrylic running everywhere. So this definitely does help. Yes, put oil around the bottleneck. Yep. I mean, I can't put oil on my eyeliner, but I be messy too. So don't be messy, girl. Or if you are going to be messy, just leave it open. Fuck it. The crustier the bottle, the more hardworking you look, okay? That's what I say. So I'm just trying to apply a thin coat of acrylic. It doesn't have to be like hella thick because I'm going to be encapsulating it. So see how thin the application is? Like literally just to give it color. And then uh, obviously because this one is um, a glow acrylic, you can put it a little thicker than what you would normally put just so that it could like glow, glow. And I did have a young lady message me last time. Because I guess she's new to like glow acrylics or something. And she was like, oh, um, I don't think it works or whatever. And so the way that acrylic, I mean, glow anything works, whether it's a nail polish, uh, acrylic or whatever, it needs to kind of be in the sun in order for it to glow later. So I kind of. Compare them to solar panels, you know, like the solar panels absorb the sun from the, I mean, the energy from the sun, and then that's what creates your power. So the more light the nails are, are under, like you could put in the UV light or just regular sunlight, the brighter and longer the glow will be later on. Okay, so stick them fingers out the windows. Hi, from Texas. Hi, Salcedo. Yes, it's the Glow Collection. Yes, this is... So I have two types of glow acrylics. One of them is... One of the collections goes by name. 
like glow green, glow yellow, glow whatever. There's 12 colors. And then I have another collection that has numbers. So this one is literally glow pink. It's from our first collection. Hi Chantel. Um, I'm gonna try to save it. I always, I always try to save my lives, but on YouTube, not on Instagram. Yes, the glow does need light. So I'm gonna be doing three nails that are like pink, like straight up pink, cause I'm not gonna be too crazy. Well, I'm gonna add bling, but I'm gonna be using one of my new. Um, acrylics. Do you always do different nails on each hand? Um, recently, yes, I have been doing that a lot only because I want to provide content for my, my YouTube channel or for y'all. And, but for the most part in the past, I would always have all my nails different. Like, they'll be different, but they will match. They'll go together, you know? But now, i rather just do two different sets. Because it takes me a long as fucking time. Girl, I know their swords. They long, long. Wish me luck. A ver si no me parto mi pinche madre. So, um, yeah, since I take such a long time doing my nails, I don't really have no eight hours to sit and do both. So, I'll do one hand one week and then some other time I'll do the other hand my bling nails I did them last week so this time it was this hand's turn and then during the week I'll do a fake hand and I'll post that on YouTube and then when I go to work I do have um a client that I'm going to be recording so that's going to be cool I haven't picked the color for her nails yet Philly, hey, hermosa, thank you. How's your pinky? Um, it's good, pero está un poquito sore. No, actually, it's not sore. It's just bruised. I got hurt like a week ago, but I barely turned took off the nail. So, um, I was opening the gate to the salon, and the lock got stuck. And then I valió mi dedo, valió verga. Se murió el dedo for like 10 minutes and then it revived. That shit fucking hurt. My finger was throbbing like a motherfucker. Because you know like the pinkies, casi no los usamos. So those I feel like are always fucking stuck. Like stuck, stuck, forever stuck. Girl, you badass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I try my best. I'm about to stab a bitch with these nails for sure. Earlier, hola, te voy desde Ciudad de Mexico. Hola. I went to the store to buy some groceries, and this lady was like, Oh my God, your nails are beautiful. I've never seen such nails before. They're so blingy and sparkly. And she's like, can I take a picture? And I'm like, sure. I'm like, but I only have one hand. And she was like, what happened to the other one? And I'm like, oh, I took my nails off. And she was asking me that how much my nails cost. So I was like, oh, my friend does them for me. <laughs> she could have been a potential customer, but I don't work out here. So I don't want to give her hopes. I was like, oh, my friend, mi amiga me hace mis uñas. So this finger is crooked, so I tend to put my nail a little bit more that way. So just in case y'all see it crooked, you know why. Una vez se me alzó la uña para arriba, that shit hurt. Uh, no, a mí me ha pasado muchas veces, pero me vale verga, yo todavía me pongo uña. Antes Marta que si Núñez. So aquí vamos despacito, despacito, para no hacer las boludas. Porque yo batallo limarme las uñas con mi mano derecha. 
So right now I'm just going slowly because I'm using my non-dominant hand and I'm trying to apply them as smooth as possible without me having to file later because, bitch, that's something that I hate doing because I struggle with my right hand. I mean, I struggle with my other hand too, but it's worse using a hand that's not your BFF, you know? So whenever you're applying acrylic, make sure to always wipe your fucking brush. Wipe it. Make sure that you always be wiping. Make sure it's nice and clean. Because then you're going to get a, a little clump. So check it out. It's not hella hella smooth, but it's pretty goddamn smooth, bitch. Okay. It is a Culiacan. Yo soy de Culiacan. And you sound like people from there. Um, my family, they're from Sinaloa, so I guess I'm kind of close. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do... Huh. I'll probably do this one half. Half and half, kind of like an ombre with my new color. Only because I really love pink. I've been missing pink, so I want a lot of pink. I brand of acrylic is this. This is from my website. This is Zule Acrylic Glow Pink. It's available on my website, honey. It glows. I'm trying to be glowing, okay? I'm going to put on a show tonight with this fucking hand. So I think this is the length of my client that I be like, bitch, get your nails shorter because when I do her nails, casi se me cae el brazo a la verga. Y aquí ando yo de pendeja doing it the same length. I just wanted to try it out. Let's see how it goes. A ver si encuentro novio. Nah, just kidding. I already got a man. Where is your shop located? Um, The salon is located in Los Angeles. But I'm currently not taking any clients. Any new clients? Well, I'm going to be accepting new clients here and there. But it's only going to be for freestyles. And a specific length. Thank you, my little assistant. Thank you, Amber. Where did you get your dampen dish? Um, it's from my website. Pretty much everything that I use for the most part is from my store. Unless it has a different brand, then you know where it's from. But this dampen dish is available in my tiendita. The monomer, the brush, the acrylic, the nail tips, everything. Even me. Nice kitty, bitch. Not me. All right, honeys, are y'all ready for this new color reveal? Nah, just kidding. I think I showed it to you guys before, but y'all never seen it in action. I feel like after I show y'all, you're going to be like, oh my God, I need that in my life. And then all my clients are going to copy me too. But don't worry, I don't get mad. We can all be twins, ho. We could all be twins. Uy. No, but it pinches uñonas a la verga. They be getting in my way, honey. So this week, I'm just going to have to wear some pink all, all fucking week. So I could be matchy, matchy, like pink vibes type of bitch. I'm down for a freestyle sesh. All right, you little savage. Well, Make sure to keep an eye out on them notifications because I'm going to be looking for some, possibly for September. Because for August, I already chose my two new clients. <laughs> no, hombre, aquí me va a cantar el gallo como dice mi mom. All right, so since I'm going to be using um, Zule, how's your monomer? Who do you compare before you got your brand? Hi, Luigi. Um, what do you mean, how is my monomer? 
Um, before I used to use Young Nails, but that one I feel like is a little bit more, it's not runny, but compared to the Smooth Monomer, the acrylics run a little bit more. So if you have runny acrylic, they go the right speed, like runny, you know? And then this one, it kind of slows it down. Like it won't dry fast, but it's not going to dry slow where it'll be running, if that makes sense. You should create starter kits for beginners. Um, Jane Lopez, actually, I did have some. Um, they're currently out of stock because I've been wanting to... Um, um, what is it called? I've been wanting to update the kit only because some of the things I don't have available anymore. And then I want to add some new things. So hopefully, um, I'm not going to say this week because I might not have time. I have a pretty busy week. Maybe by the end of the month, I will have an updated kit for um, my beginners. But our kit is pretty good already. But I don't want to put like a practice finger and stuff like that. Because I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll put a class together. Who knows? I kind of want to. I miss it. I miss doing classes. <sighs> Any advice to do nail services a little faster? Girl, I, I'm slow. So... I can't really help you there, but I notice that when I'm yapping, I fucking go slower. So maybe don't talk. <laughs> don't talk. So right now I'm just going to encapsulate my solid nails because um, I don't want to get the glitter on my, my pink. Well, at least not on the nails that don't need glitter. Not today, honey. Not today. No glitter. We're going to have bling. Bling, bling, bling. So, how many beads does it take? Zule, I want to try with your powders, but I'm scared. Why are you scared, Louis Jean? You're not going to die with these. Why are you scared, honey? Like, how many beads does it take to encapsulate this nail? I used to feel bad for going slow. I'm glad there's others like you that have no shame in being slow. Girl, mm-mm. I, I got no shame, shit. I don't care if people think I'm slow or say I'm slow. I go at my own pace. I mean, I work as fast as I can, so... I mean, as good as it's going to get. I mean, I could be faster depending on the the temperature. Like, I feel like in the summer, I can go faster because the shit dries fast. And a huevo punto com, I have to work fast. But um, not no one hour fast, you know? She's using number 12 brush. Yes, this one is number 12. Um, the pink handle brushes from my website and this one, um, they're the same size, the number 12s. But the liquid ones, the glitter handles, those, the number 12 runs larger. So sometimes I go back and forth. I was gonna put a fucking music, but luego I'm gonna save it for YouTube and I don't want them to copyright my ass. So, aquí les voy a cantar poquito, eh? Just kidding, I'm gonna sing. Bitch. So, I'm gonna make them hella, hella sharp. Pa picarme la cola. So, from now on, I think I'm gonna do. I'm going to do my left hand always stiletto and my right hand is always going to be whatever the shape because I really need my pointy so I could cut shit up. Like whenever I open water, water packs, I need a blade and shit and it's like stab. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to do that, but 
I do it anyway. That's why I um, make them pretty thick so they don't be breaking. The sharper, the better. Yes. And I like to make my nails a little thick because, you know, ain't nobody got time to break a nail. Mm -mm. So, girlfriend, I think that's it for this finger. I mean, it's a little lumpy, but it's okay. We will be fine. Canta, canta, nombre. I cannot fucking sing for shit. Um, hey, dog, the answer DM, I'm a nail technician in California. I need advice on how to be a successful nail technician. I'm tired of working for nail shops and other people. Um, locked off, official, I do enter my DMs when I have time, but I have a lot of messages and story tags or things like that that I, I need to go through. So whenever I get to them, it takes me a while, but... I get to them sometime. I'm actually planning on maybe racing them all and starting fresh. Because, bitch, I feel like I'm never going to finish with them messages. Like, Instagram be, um, freaking. They need to erase fucking tags. Like, you know, when you guys mention me in a story or whatever. Just the way they erase on the story, they need to erase from my DM because then I have to go one by one erasing them and it's like, bitch, what the fuck? I have a cafecito today, again. I'm having such a hard time with French. Can you please do a tutorial? Girl, I struggle with French too, but um, yeah, I'll make a tutorial. I actually have some on YouTube with um, gel polish and acrylic, but I couldn't do another one. Slowly but surely, this nail will get done. I really want to see the, the nude, honey. I mean, the glitter. I hope the camera does it just as though because sometimes the glitters don't show that beautiful on the camera. Like, what the fruit? Amber, they're my favorite to watch. Who? 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 What y'all talking about? Any advice on how to manage dark colors in acrylic? I always end up with darker parts. Um... I'm not sure what acrylic you're using, but you shouldn't have an issue with darker parts if you're using acrylic just apply a nice thickness and you should be fine if you have lighter parts then maybe you're not um applying the same thickness are you going to put any glitter yes i am oh me and mimi yeah she's gonna come over on on thursday so we're gonna be doing her nails Let's see what we do this time. Me too. Can't wait to see your marvelous design. Ooh, it's going to be cute, simple, and bling. Eh, just kidding. Well, it's going to be simple for me only because it's just like a solid color with bling, you know? But it's still going to be bomb. Bomb. Not crazy like my right hand, but it's going to be bomb, honey. Can you guys believe that I feel like my right hand is boring? Like, I really want to take them off. You guys are going a little too fast for me today. French, I've learned that you have to let the acrylic loose its liquid shine and right after before it dries, I carve with a French tool. Oh, yeah, you can do that. I kind of find it a little tricky with the tool, too, but no matter what, French is pretty tricky. Period. Hey girl, de trabajar en un salón por comisión y la nail tech poner sus productos, ¿cuánto sería el porcentaje? Um, Jasmine, de comisión, si tú vas a poner tu producto, yo nunca he escuchado eso, comisión y que pongas tu producto. Siempre el salón pone el de ellos, pero 
yo pienso si va a ser así, entonces yo de, diría que a lo mejor 70% para ti y 30% para ellos o 60-40% por ahí. Pero usualmente los salones te dan el material que yo sepa. Yo no sé, yo nunca he trabajado así. Pero yo he escuchado que siempre le hacen 50 y 50. Como tú nomás ahí um, trabajas, ellos te dan el producto y no pagas renta y todo eso. Y 50 y 50. I don't know. Have any of you guys worked at a salon and work by commission? How does that work? Do you bring your own products or what? Because I've never worked like that. So we have somebody asking. Let us know, please, in the comments. Because that's a really interesting question. I don't know. Hold on. Ahorita que termine esta bolita, voy a seguir leyendo. Hi, Zuley. Saludos desde México. I'm here. Presente, bitches. Hey girl, how long you take for a whole new set freestyle? Um, it depends. Sometimes, well, myself, bitch, I took a long ass time. I could take um two to three to four hours, depending on the length and the detail of whatever the fuck I'm doing. But for the most part, when I put a lot of detail, it could take me three to four hours. Easy for long length. For extra long, then longer, okay? My sister is going to order me you products and bring them to me. Ah, oh, how cute. They like it. Good job, sister. Sometimes the French lines be cousin instead of sister. <laughs> For real. I'm using me a secret acrylics and I end up darker spots. I'm using six brush. Oh, no, 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 honey. That's a 3D brush. You need a bigger brush. And the Mia Secret Acrylics, they're mainly for 3D. Not really meant for like a whole color application. Although they still do the job, but I don't really recommend them for that. They dry too fast. But the pigment is really good. I wish I spoke and understood Spanish. Oh, well, we will learn here. Today, whoever doesn't know Spanish will learn Spanish. Whoever doesn't know English will learn English. What size brush do you recommend for beginners? Um, I highly recommend a number 8 through 12 for a beginner. I learned with a number 8. So I feel like that's perfect so that you can learn to um, maneuver the product and all of that. But everybody's different. No, they provide the product. Okay. When you work on commission on the person supplies everything. That's what I thought too. Okay, now I already encapsulated. Okay, honey, I can start with my other color. Yes. So I'm going to be using my favorite cover pink nude along with my new acrylic spice me up bitch um price for the length um just for a size like this i would say 250 about just the length is a lot of motherfucking work 250 oh man I don't got enough acrylic. I just did this length on a client and I charged her a little less than $250 for just the length. And bitch, fuck no. Not worth it. I'm like, I'm going to need to reconsider this price because I'm like, nope, this arm ain't falling off for fucking $200. Usualmente ellos ponen el producto. Ok. Si, sí, eso es lo que yo pensaba también. Did. I did the products and I put on my tools. 
60. I just need to add a little bit more acrylic to this because I want it to flow. A lot of time you will find yourself getting your own products if they don't have them. Okay. So I was right. That is the, the, what is it called? The percentage. So I'm going to go ahead and add my nude as my base. because I want my glitter to pop differently and I'm gonna do kind of like an ombre but it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect because I don't want to cover my pink too much let's see hold on guys I need to make sure this bruise gets covered very good Cause ain't no one trying to see bruise. Oh, dang, honey. Damn, se escucha todo. Sadly, this bruise is peeking through, but hopefully the glitter will camouflage it a little bit. I've never had a bruise like this before on a nail. Normally, se me va toda la pinche uña, and, pero esta vez no. All right, let's see. Hold on. Literally just had a client tell me she not coming to me because I charge 100 for long set with works like bitch. It's because some people don't understand the work that goes into nails like and unfortunately some people will never understand they'll be like that bug you crazy or whatever but you know what they can go to the regular nail shop and get their nails fucked up or whatever is their opinion cada quien tiene su su vicio that's what i always say everybody has their addiction and just some people are not nail addicts, okay? And it's fine. They like to wear nails, but they won't, they don't love nails, you know? I told that to my mom once because a long time ago, she was like, oh my God, you're spending how much on bling? I took her with me to buy some bling years ago, and I only spent $200, okay? Well, back then, that shit was a lot. A bitch was like, Oh my god, that's a lot of money, but fuck it. I love the bling. And how to call it, um, she's over here judging me. And then we ended up going to fucking buy fajas later on that day. And I forgot how much her fucking faja was, but that bitch spent the same amount of money on fucking girdles. And I was like, okay, woman, you over here talking shit that I'm spending money on my addiction, but look at you. Everybody likes different shit. So, you just have to find clients that are nail addicts. Okay? And then, too, sometimes you got to understand that not everybody got money like that. So, it's totally fine as well. Because, you know, sometimes it's their birthday and they balling. They want to go crazy. And then sometimes, well... They being responsible. But that ain't my fault. Okay, so you getting no bling. <laughs> hey girl. Hi crafty mommies. Lady recommend legacy acrylics. I've never tried them before. So I don't know. Can you work with your nails on? Is it easy for you? Yes, I can work with my nails on. That's how I work. Um, at first it was not easy. Now it's like, whatever, I can't do shit without nails. So yes. So I'm just trying to apply a really thin layer of my acrylic just to give my glitter, um, a different look. ¿Qué le pasó a la uñita pequeña? So hace rato estaba diciéndoles la historia que estaba abriendo el salón el otro día. 
y se me atoró el candado y valió verga mi dedo. Se me dobló allí y se me murió el dedo por como 10 minutos. Se me desmayó. Se me desmayó el dedo. ¿Haces cursos en línea? No. No, no, ahorita no. Sorry. Perdón. I feel like when I do, I have trouble. Yeah, it's normal. If you are new and you're barely learning to do nails with nails on, it's gonna be hard. Trust me, I used to struggle. I used to hate doing nails when I had my nails on because I would always file them, get them in my way and all of that. But I've been doing this for a very long time now. I've been doing my nails and doing people's nails for seven years now. So as my nails get longer, um, how to call it, I get used to it, but I don't even feel it. So I'm going to go ahead and close my nude because I'm going to go in with my little glitter over here. Do you always have two different sets? Yes, I do, actually. She wanted one finger French ombre glitter bling bling like girl. hundred. Oh, yes, girl. Nah, she was trying to play you. So this is my new acrylic. Well, I had to add acrylic to this one. I just had it in um like glitter in there but this one is called spice me up actually i put too much on this one let me take it off so pretty much you can add it to whatever color and it will give it a different look i wait Oh, honey, so shiny. It's like a iridescent. I don't know. It has like orange undertone, yellow. I mean, green. I don't know if you guys can see it there. But when you put it on nude, ooh, is my favorite. So I'm just kind of like making that wannabe ombre. Doesn't have to be perfect, but girl, so beautiful. I might a little bit more just to get on the pink to remove a little harsh line. I'm going to end up putting bling on this so the ombre doesn't really matter. Wow. Okay, let's see. Hold on. There's so much work and prep that goes into nails, good product, and good application. Mm-hmm. Yup. Especially long nails, honey. Oh, fuck. Wrong finger. Look at, let me zoom in. Wow. Oh my God, this is like nailgasm. Who's messaging me? I'm busy right now, sorry. Okay, bitches, if y'all don't have this a color already, then you need to go grab that shit. Look at, ooh. So beautiful. I just wish I had another finger in this color now. But I really, really, really wanted a lot of pink. So I couldn't. I already know a lot of people are going to copy me. Like, oh my God, oh my, that's a good combination. Like, of course it is, bitch. I did it, okay? Damn, you guys are hella popping in these comments over here. Por andar aquí en el chisme de la uña. Bien enfocada, like, bitch. Like, okay, honey. Ahí está. ¿Cómo les quedó el ojo, eh? Bien shiny. Let me apply a little bit over here. I missed the little spot. So you can control how much acrylic you put on if you want it like super glittery or just like lightly. But you know, a bitch needs it extra full. 
Um, let me cover my glitter before I drop it. Um, because, girl, I be making a mess. You crack me up. Oh. I love making people laugh. Aunque se rían de mí a la verga, pero... I enjoy it. Siempre que tengo, like, vergüenza or something, I always be cracking jokes. So I won't be put on the spot. So now time to encapsulate this little bitch. So beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to make it shiny or matte. It looks beautiful. Y'all love it? It's called Spice Me Up. It's new. You could put it over... I've tried it over the color black. Dude, that shit looks cool. Like a nice Halloween effect. It looks like orangey. And depending on any other color, then it looks different. So I recommend you get it and then you be like, oh, I have 10 different colors. The psych is just one bitch. And then you put on different colors and like your clients because they always want new stuff. The new, new. But it's the same color, you know? You're just dressing up the other ones. I love the bling on the other nails. Thank you. Let's see. The video on her doing her right hand are on YouTube. Yes, I uploaded it as my live video. I was going to speed it up and do a little voiceover, but a bitch don't got time like that anymore. So, así como es, it's going to get uploaded. All right, a little bit more. A little bit more acrylic over here. A little bit of Monica. On the nail. Oh my god. I love them already, bitch. They look fucking big. They look big, big. Well, they are big, big. Will you ever do a class with more of business side creating your own line? Um, I don't think so. Not necessarily that because I feel like it's more research than anything. Something that works for me might not work for you, you know? And it's not something that you can really teach. So if I do have classes... I'm going to be doing more of the nail side. I do include a little business in there of how to get clients and stuff like that, but not how to build your your line. That's something that you have to research. I got to work on the nail thickness. Um, I love making my nails thicker than thinner because, you know, if it's ever lumpy or whatever... And you can always file it down and bring it to the thickness you want versus if you do it too thin and you file, then you're stuck with a thin nail. Damn, there's a little bump over here. Let's see. Can you use your bling adhesive for point backs or is it better for flat backs? Um, you could use it for pointy or flat backs, but... It's a little trickier because you have to add a lot more glue. And then the heavier the crystal is, the more it moves around. So it'll be a little pain in the ass. But definitely possible because I used to do that before. Um, but I do recommend the cluster gel for the pointy ones. It's just easier. We could do either or. The pink is so beautiful on you all. Thank you. Thank you, honey. I love pink. I love the pink pink. I'm sorry, guys. I'll look at my comments right now. It's because my acrylic be drying fast. The clear one dries super fast. And I don't want any little air bubbles in my, in my nail. I think I already got one over here. Oh, no. It's a glitter. 
I lay too much acrylic, then have to file it off. Okay, you will put too much. Advice on how not to get discouraged working in a salon environment. Well, I've never worked in a... I mean, I work in a salon, but I have my own room. So, I'm not sure if you mean like with coworkers and stuff. Because I've never been in that situation, but... I mean, the best advice I could give you is just don't focus on them. You know, focus on you, mind your own business. And if they talk shit, because most of the time that's what it is. They jealous, talking shit or whatever. Do, don't pay attention. Just do your thing, girl. Do your thing. It's harder than, it's harder to say it than to do it, but it's not impossible. I never catch your lives anymore because of school, but my teacher lets us go early today. Oh, yes, girl. Thanks, teacher. All right, so we almost done. Now it's going to be time to file you. My favorite. I need somebody to file my fucking nails. But, I mean, the application is pretty darn good. Okay, so maybe I won't file. Eh, just kidding, bitch. Um, I'm using a size 12 brush. Little. I should be using a bigger one, but bitch, I don't got no control with my right hand. I barely can control it with my left. Um, so now we're using a small brush. Okay. okay, I think that's good enough. My nails feel heavy. Y todavía ni le pongo el molcajete, okay? Apenas para picarte y rascarte como dice señor Camargo, si te pica, rascate. <laughs> Fuck, for real, me voy a andar picando el culo con estas uñas a la verga. Mañana les cuento si me pico o no. Hi, Chiranda. So whenever you're gonna file, make sure to close all your shit so you don't in in uh, what was it? So you don't um contaminate your stuff, okay? And what that means is you don't want to get dust all over your product. Cause I've seen a lot of people filing with their jars open. Like, no, girl, close them, please. Oh shit. All right, let me just move my stuff because I tend to drop a lot of things. Like, mi mamá me decía que yo no pierdo la cabeza porque la tengo pegada. ¿Qué tips usaste? Um, usé estos. Estos largotes. Look it. So, usé esos grandototes. Pero los medí con mi nuevo tip que tengo. Because we got a new 3X um, coffin tip. I really wanted to try the length because they're longer than these. Pero I wanted stiletto and everybody chose stiletto. So pretty much I just measured it and then I cut it. Yeah, y lo me los pegué. Pero se los big ones. That way I didn't have to file that much and all of that. So pretty much here's a nail that I didn't use that I cut. And then I just glued it on, you know, so it could stay pointy. Using my brain here. Somebody told me to do that last time. So I'm just going to wait for my shit to dry a little bit. Um, Let's see. Pero se ven mamalonas. Ooh, pues espérate que... How do you call it? Ahorita que le ponga el bling bling, van a estar bien mamalonas. Do you ship to Caribbean? No, I'm sorry. I don't. Ship international at the moment. Let's see how much for a set like the one in your right hand. Um, for length like this would be definitely over six hundred dollars. The other day I was telling everybody no less than five hundred, but then I took a look at them later and I'm like, nah, bitch, this is nothing less than six hundred dollars for the length. I would charge like eight or nine hundred. But you know what? I wouldn't bling nobody out like this no more. They're my blings, okay? But for shorter nails, it will be a lot less because no le cabe tanto, you know? 
And if you think that's too expensive, you you broke as a hoe. I just kidding. Not a lot of people got money like that. Pero pues, yo no me cobro, so yo me pongo el molcajete. Alright, so I'm just going to file my nails now and read comments. Ooh, que perra, mi amiga. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Damn, and even like that, they look hella long. Girl, huh? So whenever I file my nails, I tend to just file one side at a time. I find that this is the easiest for me when I'm doing my own nails. So that I make sure to keep the little round curve of the nail and not make it like hella, hella flat. People actually pay $900. Yup, they, people pay whatever you charge if they love what, what you offer, you know? Swarovski crystals are really expensive. So majority of that price is fucking the crystal price, you know? And then the time. It's like, ¿cómo vas a ir a Louis Vuitton y decirles que quieres una Louis Vuitton, pero la quieres a 300 dólares? Mija, pues entonces cómprate una de los callejones y ni la de mentiras te va a costar poquito. Todavía va a costar. So. Okay, now let's sharpen these bitches up para picar puro culo. These nails are lovely. Color is popping. What's the most you've charged, Marie? Um, the most I've charged so far for nails is four fifty. I haven't had anybody crazier yet, you know, with the COVID and all of that. But they came out bomb. Zule, are those tips? Yes, they are. These are the 4XL stiletto tips. I just cut them a little bit because, bitch, I don't know how I'm going to be wiping my ass with these for real. I'm going to have to make a video. Para las que estén preguntando, ¿y cómo te limpias, mija? Have you done celebrity clients? And which celebrities would you want to do? Um, No, I haven't done celebrity clients. I don't think I have because most of the time they want free nails and back then I just didn't have time to work for free you know like a bitch had to work I mean now I'll reconsider because I just want to have fun with the nails but as a beginner I was like girl I would get people who were not even like celebrities like influencer kind of things or ni influencers todavía y they would want free nails. Like, girlfriend, I can't pay my rent out of free nails. But if I, um, let's see, what celebrity wouldn't I not mind working for free? Um, I like Cardi B. I'll do her nails. I don't really, like, follow fucking celebrities. I'm not into all that. So, no sé. But definitely Cardi B would be one person I would not mind dropping my clients for. Like, sorry, bitch. I'm about to do somebody's nails. Bye. You understand? Hola, hola. ¿Cuándo tendrás de regreso los Charm Chanel, please? Um... Ojalá que muy pronto, pero vamos a agregar unos nuevos. O a lo mejor estos te gustan también. Esta semana. Oh, hell no. They better come out in pockets. Nicki Minaj. Mm, I'm not really a big fan of her, to be honest. Some clients don't really like to pay you the money you're asking. Nope, they don't. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm lefty. Right now, I'm working with my right hand, but I am a lefty. What is the glitter? Um, The glitter is Spice Me Up from my website. It's one of the new ones. Hola, cariño. Respóndeme al DM. Um, Jasmine, me tendrás que mandar un mensaje de texto porque la verdad yo no... 
no veo mis, todos mis DMs. Tengo demasiados ahí y batallo para encontrar tu mensaje. O so, mejor textéame o mándame correo electrónico. What do you do, Ariana Grande? Oh, yeah, I like her too, actually. I do like her. But I would like to do something crazy on somebody, not something simple like a French. A solid color. So I guess that's why I don't really care for celebrities because most of them be basic. Or you know what? Who I, would, I wouldn't mind doing? La Caballota. La Ivy Queen because she probably likes something crazy like me, you know? <sighs> or La Ñurca, La Verga. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think she'll be doing crazy shit. Because I'm right-handed and I have a hard time doing my left hand. Girl, it's hard. But the trick is to make them almost as perfect as possible. So that you don't have to file too much. Although I feel like I'd be filing for days, but it could be worse. They're hella lumpy. I feel like I struggled holding my file like super tight so my shaping doesn't come out like hella um, crisp. Fuck, it's so hot. Oh my God, I'm a lefty too. I thought I was the only one. No, girl. What's the best bit for removing bulk acrylic? Excuse me. Um, This one is my favorite bit. It's our 3X course bit from my website it removes acrylic bling charm whatever you want bitch but you have to use it in a super fast speed for it to work great because of the teeth and stuff i work in a nail salon on the weekends for commission i have this client that loves to get her nails done with art and spends 200 or more but only tips me like three dollars should i get bummed out um, no, you shouldn't. I don't think so because, I mean, personally, I don't really expect a tip. I mean, it does feel nice for people to tip you. I just learned over time that you just have to charge your worth and you just won't be, like, decepcionada, you know? If you're expecting it, then you're going to feel bummed out, but you should not. If they do it, then because they got a little extra... Sometimes people barely have enough for the nails, so you have to learn to understand that too. I used to get bummed down. Now it's like, whatever, like not everybody tips. But most of the time you go a little extra for that person that does tip you, you know? I appreciate it. That'd be like my cafecito money. Well, I don't really go to Starbucks no more, but that's just me. I don't know if other people get all but her. Pero pues. At least you're getting some expensive nails, girl. Once, I got a tip. Like, this girl tipped me with coupons. I was like, excuse me? Like, when I started to do nails, I didn't know about tipping or anything like that. Um, nobody fucking tipped me when I started to do nails. So, I mean, to me, it was like, whatever. And then, one day, somebody tipped me with a coupon from Victoria's Secret. I was like, okay. Like, I thought it was kind of funny. But then, later on, I realized, like, oh, my God, what a bitch. Like, mejor no me viera nada mi madre, you know? Yeah, I just do my work. You want to tip me? That's up to the client. Yeah, in the beginning, I used to get bummed because clients normally tip you when they're new. And then after they get used to you, they're like, eh, whatever, whatever. So I used to be like, am I not doing a good job? Or like, I would feel like, did I not do a good job? You know, because you tend to think like, oh, if you do a good job, um, they're going to tip you, right? That's what you think. But sometimes people don't, don't have a little extra or whatever. So you shouldn't feel bad. Pero pues también, no sean codas a la verga. Si le van a dar la chinita de la pinche pedicure y no le vas a dar tu nail tag, no mames. <clears throat> no mames, güey. That's one thing that I fucking hate. 
though when people come and tell you like oh yeah i went to get my pedicure and i tipped this person da -da -da -da, or i went to get a massage and i tip and it's like bitch and you don't fucking tip me ho <laughs> that pisses me off but i don't expect a tip you know i just don't like when people tell me that like okay i thought i did a good job but y'all tipping people that don't do good jobs like i'm confused Does your family and friends expect free sets? And what's your stance on that? Um, before, yes, I would give them free nails, free everything or whatever. But now that I do it as a full-time job, I don't give nobody fucking free nails. Just my sister. That's it. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't care for tips either as long as they pay me for my hard work. Let's see. I have a bit with coarse teeth and it eats up my acrylic a bit like chunks it off. Is my speed too slow? Um, I'm not sure what your speed would be, but I really recommend for you to go faster. Did my shit stop? Hello? Are you guys there? I pay like 300 for my nails and don't tip is that bad. Um, I mean, that's kind of hard to kind of answer because, I mean, me coming from a, ser a field of service, like I do nails and I get tipped and all of that. Whenever I go anywhere, I always tip. Even if you do a bad job, bitch, I'm still going to tip you, but... Like, hope maybe you're having a bad day or whatever. Because they do come a long way, you know? Um, like before, when I was new and people would tip me, like, that could be my, um, my lunch money or something. Because people really don't get paid. If you break it down per hour after your rain and your supplies, nail takes, hairstylists or whatever, they don't really make that much like people be thinking. So, a tip does come through especially for beginners you know pero pues cada quien es is different the one thing is if you you won't understand the tipping until you work in um something where you get tipped like a waitress or you offer a service then your mindset about tipping will change but pues, if you're, you don't believe in tipping, that's you. It's not a have to. Like, okay, so where's my tip? <laughs> like that, it gets on my nerves too. I went uh, to get a massage once. And this lady was like, oh, are you going to tip now? Like she was charging me for the massage um, before I got it. Which is fine, you know, maybe people run out on them. I had no idea. So I was like, yeah, I like charge my card. And I always try to carry cash because I know that how to call it cash is better, you know. Especially when you're going to tip people. Cash is better, guys. Cash is better. Así se lo gastan. Ay, it's getting... Um, and then the lady was like, oh, tip, are you going to tip? And I was like, excuse me, lady, I haven't even got my fucking service yet. You want me to tip already? Like, bitch, I'm going to fucking tip my girl or guy, whatever he is. But how am I going to fucking determine how nice of a tip I'm going to leave if I haven't even got the massage yet? So that shit kind of turned me off. But bitch... Let me tell you, that was one of the best massages I ever had in my life. Best believe the bitch got a nice tip. Okay. So. The lady was really happy. We here. Oh, it's because my iPad kind of froze a little. Delay when I found dark acrylics and put the top coat, it appears white spots. Um, That's because you have scratches on the nails, most likely. What do you think is a good tip, más o menos? Um, I'm not very good at, like, my math, but average, I guess you could use a calculator, like 15%, 20%, whatever the total is, would be what you're tipping. Pero, like, let's just say I go to the car wash, 
and I get my car washed and it's, I don't know, $20, $25 for my car wash, I give them $10. You know, because they hardworking, they out there in the sun. Don't be a cold ass bitch and give a fucking dollar. Like those people deserve a tip. People who are really hardworking, I love giving back. And some, I actually had a guy come to my house once back in the day and I tipped him like $30 because I felt bad he was in the sun. But he did a really good job washing my car. So it just depends, you know, how much you, how much a little extra money you got and, um, the job. Pinche tablet. Hello. Yes, cash tips are always better. My night job is outside in a parking lot, garage at a casino. I get tips to sit on my ass and charge people for free parking. So tip services, tip for services. How long do you, how do you get a crisp shape? Um, well, you just have to put a nice workout. Like file for days, honey. File for days. I don't know what I did to my tablet, but I can't see the comments very well. I do tip others, but don't expect tip given to me as my prices aren't cheap. So I take it as tip included in my nail set. <laughs> That's another way to look at it. That's a good one. Tipping is only right. I could never not tip. Yeah, me neither. Ever since... um. Ever since I started doing nails, I I always tip all the time, especially small businesses. Because I feel like they're the most hardworking small businesses. I just hate going to like restaurants and then the waiters or whatever the fuck, they're looking at you like pinche pobre because you're not dressed up or whatever. And it's like, bitch, ni me dan ganas de darte pinche propina la verga. But I can't do that no more, you know? Like, I still gotta tip you because I heard, I'm not sure. So if you work as a waiter, how does that work? Do you get charged for tips even if you don't get tipped or what? I heard that that's a thing. So if you work in, um, in, um, if you're a waitress or something similar, like, can you let me know how that works or what? How do you do no nails with long nails? I'm struggling to do clients with my nails. Girl, you practice, practice, practice. Are you blinging these out? Yes, I'm going to add blink to them right now when I'm done filing. No, we just get the tips. What's the best nail bit like your go-to? I have a few, actually. Um, I have... Look, they're right here in my face. My favorite um, bit that I'm, I'm going to be using this one right now. This one's the extra fine bit. This one removes scratches, helps you get to the cuticle, seal it really good. And then to remove acrylic would be this one. It's a 3X cores. I have a bunch of little cuticle ones here. And then this one is a fine bit to remove gel polish. So there's a bit for everything, girl. All of these are available on my website. So those are the ones that I use. Hi, Sylvia. You only make money from tips. You only make money from tips. As a um, waitress, you don't get paid hourly? Yes. If you're going to tip somebody, do that shit cash, please. Yeah, it's my bit box. It's so cute, huh? They're from my website, the boxes and the bits. Aquí me ando asando la verga. Is there a bit you feel like you can do it all? No, not yet. I have a bit for everything. If it's in stock, the boxes on her website, yes. I saw waitress, some restaurants do not give you like salary you work for your tips. Oh my lord! I heard that you get charged a certain per, a certain amount, like if you were to get tips. But I was like, oh my god, that's so sad. All these people don't even tip and shit, and they're the ones who are like the most fucking special. 
I hate going to restaurants and seeing bitches like ask for a bunch of shit and be bitches. You need to un pinche dolar. Like, puro Karen. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, it went back to normal. They get paid like $3 an hour. Oh, hell no. $3? Nah, girl. If you're going to eat out, you better be tipping these people because $3 an hour? No, my mess. How are they going to feed their family? All right, I think that's sharp enough. Okay, it looks sharp, but it's not. So no me voy a picar a la verga. Okay, just one more nail. Cheat on the girl. Zuley, just my shipment excited. Yes, girl. I received my bling from you and I'm scared. I don't know how to apply them. Girl, well, wait. Don't go anywhere. I'm about to apply some bling on my nails so you can learn. I subscribe to a nail tech private tip page and they don't teach. Ooh, well. You unsubscribe, honey, and go follow my YouTube page. Where can I find that nail bit case? It's on my website under nail bits or other. One of those. Yes, my cousin. I worked a whole 12 hour ship as a server at Applebee's and left with zero dollars. What the fuck? Do you guys really not get paid per hour? Being a waitress, I think, is the hottest job out there. I used to be a waitress for 8 to 10 years. And this French restaurant is really hard. Oh, no, no, no. Hi. So, right now, our topic is, um, like, if you work at a as a waiter, waitress, like, how do you get paid? And, you know, we're trying to find out if they get paid hourly or do they depend on tips. Because we were talking about... Tipping, and then we switch to waitressing. Let's see. Can you use a glue for regular gel nails or just acrylic? Um, nail glue, you can use for both. The bling adhesive, you can use for both as well, but not directly onto the nail. Like, not to glue them on. Oh, thank you, Amber. Yes, you can um buff the nail. I mean, you don't have to, but I highly recommend that you buff the area when you're applying it so that it could adhere better because anything over top coat um, will, it has a higher chance of like popping off. All the time when I come live, I'd be like... Talking so much, I forget about my coffee. My bling glue closed. I only use it twice. How can I bring it back to life? Um, trap bunny. Try not closing it all the way. Um, so that you're able to open it next time when you're going to use it. But you can go to your sink and run the hot water on the cap. Uh, that should loosen it up. But... Don't close it if there's glue all over your rim because I will get stuck all the time. For the most part, like everything gets stuck when it's there's product on the rim. Quería saber cuál lija es esa. Um, esta es um 80 por cien. So look at these fucking daggers over here. Like, bitch, bitch, I'm gonna cut you hoe. Is the me tiendita high wing nails. $3 an hour plus tip, but you have to report the amount of tip you get at the end of the day and it gets taxed. Okay. That's why when I used to go and get my nails done, I always tip my guy because I know how hard it is. Now that I know how to do my nails, video just froze. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to be using my extra fine um, bit from my website with my Kiara Sky drill. And I'm just going to go in there slowly porque luego me, me arranco un pedazo. So I'm using my right hand just in case you're new to the to the 
what is it called? To the live and you don't know what's happening. I'm doing my nails with my opposite hand. When are you going to do another pop-up? Um, girl, I don't know. I've been thinking about it. Like, maybe I could do another one. But it's not looking like I'm going to be having anything like that anytime soon. Now that I moved, it, everything's just harder. So I'm just going to remove my little scratches. So... I don't have to buff that much. I can't wait for the blank part. Be kind to the pinky. I know. It doesn't hurt though. But I do struggle to file this shit. I think I need to open the damn window because it's hot. Hold on. Let me open the window because me voy a deshacer aquí. <sighs> Fresh. It's fresh outside. Pink nails. Hello. Chiranda. Who's Chiranda? Oh. I see you, Chiranda girl. I want to do a new set. Is it cold where you live? No, it's not. It's hot. But it's hotter in here with the light in my face. I have um, the an LED light, a ring light, right in my face so I get hot. All right, that's enough fighting for the nail. Next. This is a part I need help with because, girl, maybe it needs to be a little faster. All right, let's see. I'm sorry if I do not read any comments right now. I'm trying to file... I'm trying to not file my skin off. All right, hold on. Let me read one comment so I could talk about it. Meanwhile, ooh, what happened? I have your nail glue and I use it a couple of times on my clients. Crystals fall in like a week or so. I'm doing something wrong. Um, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm applying too much or too little. Please help. Um, maybe you're applying too little or if you're using it over gel, I highly recommend to use it with an activator, um, because it does dry a little slower on gel. Also, depending on how the bling falls, like if the little backing is still there, it could probably be the crystal, not the glue. Because that's happened before for some people. And then they're like, delay, my bling keeps falling. And then they show me a picture and it, the little silver is still there. But it's the crystal, you know. Some crystals just pop off. But the little silver backing stays behind. So the glue be doing the job. But you can never go wrong with a little extra glue. But for real, I'm not joking about the activator is your best friend so just get an activator ever since i found out about activator i could not work without it but stay in the in the live because i'm gonna be adding bling so you could see how i do it when doing my non-dominant hand i use my pinky to keep me from losing control because child girl me too but not with my right hand. I, I don't got no control. That's why I go slow, slow. Because then... I'll file my whole nail off. Slowly but surely. And then I think my electric file is going to die soon. So it's going extra slow right now. Like the battery is telling me is almost on empty. How do you use blooming gel? I'm not sure. I don't. I have never used it before.
I've seen it online, but I've never used it myself. So I wouldn't be able to explain to you the process because I've never tried it. I'm sorry. Okay, two more fingers. How are we going to get to the best part? Zule, do you recommend me a secret? Um, yeah. I mean, I used it when I was starting to do nails. It's okay. I mean, I don't know what it's like now, but before I used to like it because it's affordable. I mean, the solid colors I don't recommend for like a full set because they come in such little containers. You're going to use it all up. But I do like them for 3D. Fucking thing, go faster. I definitely need to plug this bitch. Will it mess up on the gems? If I spray after I apply the gems? No, it should not mess anything up. You have to apply it after you put the gems on, not before. The activator goes until you're completely finished. Unless the crystals are like super, super low quality, then they might get messed up. But I use some that are not so rusty and nothing happens to them. So you should be fine. My nail tech state my nail tech state test is coming in September. Ooh girl. Good luck. Yeah, this is my Kiara Sky electric file, but it's not my best friend. It does the job, but it ain't my best friend. One more finger. I don't do the best job at filing, not gonna lie, my opposite hand because I struggle. But pues, I do the best I can. Zule is the tia of nails. What? The tia? Why I gotta be the tia? Why can't I be the prima? I know I'm old, but damn. Just kidding. JK. How did the allergic reaction look like? What allergic reaction? Fucking electric fire will be tugging on my shit. Are y'all ready for this bling and bling bling? Yeah, my favorite um electric files are many pro passport. Like this one's going crazy over here. Like the little noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but like it's like trying to speed up, but then it's slowing down, and I don't know what the fuck. But can someone have an allergic reaction to acrylic? Yes, they could actually. It would be itchy and puffy around their cuticles. Over time, you can become allergic to anything that you become exposed to a lot. So be careful. Try not to get um, any chemicals on your skin because we're only getting older. All right, whatever. That's all we doing. It didn't come out that great, but it's okay. We'll be fine. It needs some gas. <laughs> what drill bit do you recommend? Had a Melody Susie, but it just stopped. Drill bit or drill? I think you mean electric file. 
I recommend the Manny Pro Passport. That's the only one I'm going to be recommending from that one because that was my best friend. Do you use a dust collector? I don't have one here. I don't have one here, but I'm going to be getting one soon. That's going to be in my little table. So I'm excited. You're not taking off the others? What do you mean, taking off the others? Delay, does your back and hands hurt over the years of doing nails? Um, yes, actually, when I was doing nails for my second or third year is when I started to feel the pain. Um, now that I stopped doing nails, like, full-time... I don't really experience like long term pain, but the other day, oh my lord, when I did the really long nails that are like this length, bitch, my whole body was hurting. That day I woke up really early because um, I had to take my son to school and I just had a really long day, so I don't know if that played a role or what, but my my wrist was hurting right here. And then my pinky down this way hurts so bad, along with the rest of my body. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I had not experienced that in a long time. But definitely make sure to, um, how do you call it? Um, take care of your hands. Don't wet them right after, like, filing, because that does fuck you up. Have you ever had another nail tech do your nails if... So, are you picky? Um, no, I've never had another nail tech do my nails besides Mimi. She's the only other nail tech that's done my nails. And my sister, but she's not a nail tech. That's it. And no, I ain't picky, but I enjoy doing my nails. Sometimes I wish somebody could do my nails, but then the point... Of you doing your own nails is so that you can say like, oh, I did them, you know, on the street. When they ask you like, oh my God, where'd you get them done? And then you'll be like, oh, I did them myself, you know. But sometimes I do want somebody to do my nails because a bitch gets tired at least this hand but not a lot of people like to do long nails or can do the long nails you know because it's a lot of work pobrecita back pain is the worst take care of your backs ladies take stretch breaks i had spine surgery because of years of sitting oh hell no girl don't come and scare me now I don't take breaks when I'm at work. I'm not even going to lie. I do not take breaks. But, bitch. Yeah, it's true. You do need it. Sylvia, come through, girl. Come do my nails and You have to do them this length. You down or what? Lola, las dos vamos a estar ahí. Tiradas en el piso, la verga. All right, so now I'm going to clean my uñitas with a little lymphy wipe. So we could see that. Ooh, honey, that's shiny. I'm here patiently waiting for the bling application. Almost there, honey. Homegirl, yes, when he breaks. Yo, pero a veces, pues, uno está en a hurry. And ni ganas nos dan de ir al baño. I love the interaction of being able to say I did my own nails when people compliment them. Me too. And then they'll be like, oh my God, for real? Like, you're lying. You did not do your nails. Like, bitch, yes, I fucking did, okay? You want to watch my video? Here's my Instagram handle, okay? So here it is. I don't know why this alcohol be leaving my nails white. Is it because it dries too slow or what the fuck? Let me help it. I think so. All right. Anyway, let's pop out the bling. Let's pop it out. Um, I always clean my nails with alcohol and a lymphy wipe. But this alcohol is pretty low. Like, not low. It's like 50% or some shit like that. Or 60, 70. Normally, I use a 90-something percent. 
and it evaporates really fast but for some reason this one be lagging that it turns it white yes yeah, white because it reseca muy rápido oh that happens to me when i use too much alcohol oh maybe i use less alcohol all right who's gonna hold on let me wipe it again because this shit's gonna drive me nuts is cleaning them with swipe and alcohol the same thing yeah it does the same the same job okay i'll do a little bit of alcohol this time the reason why i clean my nails with alcohol is because i'd be touching them and all of that um and i want my bling and my gel to adhere the best that it can possibly can so by removing any debris or whatever the fuck could be on them, then where did I get glitter from? Girl, where did I get glitter from? I forgot what I, what I was saying already. Tanta distraction. Okay, bitch, we're going to be using the labeling adhesive. I got a new bottle, honey. So if you knew here or we were talking about... um. Why did you say you don't wet your hands after filing? Oh, because over time, it's going to cause pain to your hands. Um, talking from experience. So if you are having issues with you being able to open your glue, word of advice, don't close it tight like this. Because if you have glue on the rim, that shit is going to get stuck. Okay. Um, so I normally just like literally close it and twist once. Yeah. Yeah. Así no más se queda. Like, literally, as long as it doesn't open no more. Like that loosey-goosey, okay? Righty-tighty. <sighs> Enough chit-chat. Let's bling-bling. All right, hold on. I'm going to do... Oh, man, I don't have bigger ones. I could have sworn I had a bigger one. Ay, Diosito, como quiero mi bling bling. Well, girl, problem solved. Don't do that no more. And you will have, you'll be able to open your bling forever. So I'm going to do a little bit of bling um, on this one. Because, bitch, this shit is hella shiny. So it doesn't need that much. I think I'm going to put like a little pair. These are my favorite. Y yo siempre me pongo mi bling bling todo chueco a la verga, but it's okay. I'm not picky. Si me sale sideway, it's okay. You're back right on time. I always wash my hands after I file. Girl, I don't. Ain't nobody got time to walk my ass to the restroom. Just alcohol and bam. So I'm gonna put... Sometimes I do wash them, but for the most part, I just put alcohol. Because no me quiero quedar chueca, eh? So. A ver, ya empezamos mal. Bien mal de chuecas. My eyeballs are fucking crooked. I'm so happy for the pinky she back. Yes. Like, I be plain. Like, I do not just get hurt. And I have these gin ginormous nails, huh? Like, bitch, you just asking to get hurt all over again. But you know what? I'm a badass bitch. Y me vale verga. Con que yo tenga uña, yo me voy a seguir poniendo. Se, se me había muerto mi teléfono. Ok, Rogelito. Oh. Que bueno que ya lo conectaste, mijo, porque estabas perdiéndote de lo mejor del bling bling. So we're going to start off slow. Because this is a hard working, working finger. Can we get a close up? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Let me zoom it in a little. How do you keep your red iguana from getting dusty? Girl, it's dusty as shit. Let me tell you. Mine is dusty. I'm having that same problem. So, I don't know yet. 
Somebody gonna have to educate us because my shit is dusty as fuck too. I don't have a lot of AB crystals here. So, a ver cuántos, cuántos me puedo poner. So, the glue have a mind of its own, okay? Sometimes it dries fast, sometimes it dries slow. So, you gotta just work in small sections and hurry the fuck up before that shit dries, okay? Are these crystals? These are Swarovski, honey. Whenever I don't use Swarovski, I'm gonna let you guys know. But for the most part, I be using Swarovski on myself all the time. Here and there, I won't because I'm trying to conserve them. But um, a la verga, I need bling. I need bling, I need... Sule is la nueva tía mía. I love your humor. Okay, sobrino. Rogelio, yo soy tu tía, mijo, eh. Mi cumpleaños es en enero, no te olvides de tu tía preferida. A me mandas un cafecito, te lo tomas por mí, eh. Hi, champagne. I was my hand, then use rub alcohol to take out the dust. That is left and let dry overnight. What do you mean you let dry? What are you guys talking about? Are we talking about nails here? All right, so I'm gonna put some bling, 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 bling on the pinky. You're gonna put some, some bling that for sure will get caught on some fucking something. Like a bitch didn't just get caught at the door. Okay. Like, esta perra no aprende. Que perra, mi amiga. No, yo soy la tía. Yo soy la tía, no soy la amiga. Echale glue a la verga. Be happy to be a model for you. Oh, girl. Well, you're going to have to be a pain model because that doesn't work for free. No, no more. Bitch cup shit to pay. Okay, 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 okay. Echale glue para que no se despegue. I know weird. What's weird? So I'm trying to go for like a little, no mames wey, no mames. Uy, se secó la verga. Okay. I guess we're going to have to work with what's going on now. Who needs a logo for their business? Um, Bobby, not me. I'm sorry, I already got one. So I guess my design that I was gonna do is not gonna come how I wanted to, pero pues ya que. Okay, more bling bling, please. Me salió a little sideways my design over here, cause my glue's drying a little fast, cause it's hot. So, por ahí va quedando. One of the thingies se me movió up. Well, no se me movió, but this one was supposed to be more up. So, si me lo ven chuequito, it's okay, honey. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Ahí va quedando. Sideways, pero va quedando. Ustedes nomás hagan de cuenta que así va. Okay, uy. I'm just going to be like, oh, it's because my finger's crooked. My finger. My finger is crooked, honey. Oh, girlfriend, that looks so cute. What do you have to use with your bling glue? Um, I... Always highly recommend to use Mia Secret. Well, you could use whatever activator, but I use Mia Secret activator. There's different kinds of activators. Some come in a little spray can, kind of like a hairspray. And um, some of them come in a little... Look, I'll show you right now. 
this is the one that I use. So screenshot it, please. This one, I have it on my website too. So if you are interested in buying, you can go get that shit in my tiendita. But I don't spray until I'm completely done because then the por si ahorita estoy, I'm struggling with this glue drying a little fast on me because I'm a slow ass. But um, when the weather is colder, the glue dries a little slower. <clears throat> What? Are you an Aries? No, I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. All right, we're going to add some bling here. So today I'm going to keep my bling into not too crazy, like a little crazy, but not too, too crazy. Like my right hand is crazy. Only because... I want it to be kind of simple. But we all know it's not going to be simple. Ooh. Se movia. I'm sorry, guys. I can't look at the comments. This bling is playing with me. Yo lo veo straight aquí y luego está chueco. Pinche dedo chueco la verga que me cargo. Uh -huh. And if you get glue on your nail, fuck it. It's just going to have to be a little squiggle now because that shit's fucking crooked. Do you sell your bling in a box like this? Um, We do have some, but it's not Swarovski, the one that comes in a box like this. The ones that come in boxes like this are non-Swarovski. The Swarovski crystals, they come individual. Individually only. So I don't know. I'm into like shapes. So that's kind of the vibe right now. I'm going to do a little squiggle. Zule, do you get your hair stuck on your bling? Yes, I do actually. But I typically don't really touch my hair that much. So I'm fine. But... Earlier, I was running my fingers through my hair. Y si me, me agarró la greña. The, the cube fucking pulled my hair. This bitch is definitely going to pull on something. Because that shit is sticking out. Maybe I should lay down. Nope, no matter how I put this one, it's still going to pull hair. Like these are raindrops. These bitches pull hair for sure. So I guess I'll lay it as flat as possible. And I'll put something else here. I'll put a little diamond. I don't know. This is going to be like a little Picasso moment. You know, like a little squiggle. Squiggly some. Y'all think this is kind of simple or nah? Not so simple. Do your nails grow out really fast? Um, Lately, they have been, actually. They have been. But I don't know why. Like, I haven't been eating anything out of the ordinary. I mean, not that it's a bad thing because I've been getting hurt. So, how to call it? Um, It's been coming through. That my nails grow fast. So that my fingernail heals faster. So I'm just going to go in and add some little flat ones around. To make it more bedazzle dazzle. From what they're saying, Swarovski won't be available to us regular people. Just designers. Yes, I heard. I heard that too. So, we got to stock up so you can have bling for life. Just kidding. Not for life. I was told summer they grow faster, winter slower. That's what my teacher said. Really? Well, then that's good to know because I was like, have I been doing something different? Because my shit is growing hella fast. 
Ooh, I didn't know I had this little leaf. If I did, I would have used it sooner. So I'm just putting it random. Something a little different. I mean, I always do squigglies, but um, I wanted to incorporate a little bit of shapes. Because I feel like the cuts and the shapes make it like hella shiny. Queen Dulé, are you stocking up for life? Fuck yeah, you know it. i just kidding. Maybe not for life at this rate. I'm just going to have enough for the end of the year. Porque como que me estoy pasando verga con estas uñas de bling bling. Like, if I keep this up, I'm not going to have enough bling for, for it to last me a long time. Do you still sell the baby nuggets on your website? Um, I believe so. I haven't really checked to see if they're in stock or not, but we should have them. I have so many products on my store. I don't even know what I have. This is going to low-key end up like a bling down now. Low-key, low-key. Any tips on placing bling might always look odd or like it doesn't belong there. Just not cute. Um, well, personally, I just place them wherever. Like, sometimes I think it's not looking cute, pero pues. Fuck it. I just go with the flow. Like, right here, they're kind of funky, but I don't really care. The funkier, the better, honey. Let's, I'm going to put a little bit more here around the rim, around the long thingy. I feel like the more that you think about it, like when you're putting bling, the you block your creativity, you know? Well, it goes with anything. Like when you're creating like a design, the more you think about it, the uglier it'll get, I feel. So I just learned to go with the flow, honey. Go with the flow. I'm so surprised Instagram hasn't kicked me out again. Like last time that I was here for like hours, didn't kick me out either. A la verga, llegué tarde. <laughs> Por andar comiendo wings. Ooh. ¿Y qué comiste? Which wings do you get at Wingstop? I like the mango vanero. I just had a client ask me that a couple weeks ago. Why is her thumb the biggest? In the pinky, the shortest. Like, do you guys not pay attention to your body? <laughs> that is so funny. No, but some people don't. Some people don't know that they have crooked hands or crooked fingers or whatever. It's kind of funny. Like, that's the first thing that I notice about myself. Crooked stuff. All right, that's enough for that finger. I'm just going to put a little bit more here. Hmm. Just a little bit. Pero que me pongo? Let's see. Oops, I got glue on my skin. Okay, ma'am. Ooh, I'm loving this pink, though. I'm asked why she's always getting her pinky finger in shorter nails. What? I know it's the correct length for the nails that are the rest of her fingers. I like the Parm Classic Wings. Oh, Parmesan? I literally have my permit test later today. I should be sleeping. Anything to stay on this live. Girl, go to sleep. You need to pass that shit, okay? I'll save this for my, my, um, for my YouTube. And you can go watch it over there. Look, this bitch fit fucking... I was going to say fell asleep. It fucking dried on me, bitch. Honey. Why are you doing that for? Move. Move, move, move. Ooh. Honey, honey, 
love that pink. Hi, Kim. Hello, beautiful. Hi, bling that thing for you. Wait till you guys see how it glows. Get it? Como Miss Piggy. <laughs> That's it. Nope, that's not it. We can add more. I always do this, man. I say I'm gonna be simple. Y ahí le sigo metiendo. Oh my god, I forgot I had this. What the fuck? Alright, just a little bit more and that's it. And then we move on. Sheesh, bling the fuck out. Love it. You think it's bling the fuck out? Girl, I thought I was being simple. Simple mi culo. Van a decir. Hola, llegué tarde, pero aquí llegué. Hi, asistente. Ya llegaste cuando ya nos vamos. Llegaste a limpiar nomás. Pinche bling bling move. Move your ass. Okay. Ooh, honey. The bling bling is a little sideways, but it's okay. Okay, and then a little bit on my thumb. Let's see. I was on my nails same day as you, girl. Y a ver, me quité mis nails. Ni modo. <laughs> We're twins. So, girlfriend, when is the next giveaway? I'm ready. Girl, I'm not doing a giveaway right now. Do you place the big stones on your right hand with the same glue? Yes, I do. I sure do. Only the big pointy ones that I have here in the center, I use cluster gel. But check it out, my bling, 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 bling. And then I'm just going to do something simple on this one. I do have a little... I'll put something towards the tip. Haven't done that in a good minute. I wanted to use the little flame. Let's see. Come on, you little bitch. Hey, no mosquito. You ain't trying to suck my blood. Nah, -uh, honey. Y se me cae el pinche phone on my freaking face por andar embobada aquí. Ándale. Ándale, mija. Tú sigue en el chisme. Que aquí no hay nada de simple. Aunque quiera. Uh. Aunque trate, no se puede. Especialmente con este público. Que no me deja ser simple porque quieren ver bling. Just kidding, y'all done. Y'all not even telling me nothing. I'm over here just using you guys as an excuse. How do you prevent your diamond glue from shutting? I don't close it all the way. I just leave it kind of open. Like barely twist it and that's it. So if you have glue all over your rim, don't close it all the way. I learned that over time from different things that I use. Like my eyeliner, that shit gets fucking stuck. My liquid eyeliner, if I get it on the rim, that shit gets stuck. So, I learned don't close it. Okay, final touches. Ooh, I'm gonna put this big one. Okay, turn that level a little bit. Ooh, honey, so beautiful. Sorry guys, let me finish my nail and then I'll get back to the chat. Chatting over here. Porque luego me salen rete chuecas, bling bling. 
I mean, I don't really care if it is, but she's using Swarovski crystals. Yes, you need to seal the sides. You make me want to buy more Swarovski and I just bought some. Sylvia, girl, go get you some more. We could never have enough bling. Never, ever, ever, ever. I, I always want to keep buying bling. More bling and more bling and I have a lot. Like we could never have enough. Ta -da! That's sexy, right? Hmm. I feel like I need more. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to add more. Fuck it. As soon as the live is over. <laughs> You're gonna go shop. You're gonna go shop till you drop. We're gonna put a little marquise. Now nah, put one of these. Mm -hmm. I need more glue for that one. Bling, 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 bling. Come on, you fucking bitch. Get over here. I hate my right hand sometimes. It's like, bitch, ¿por qué no puede ser como la otra mano? Okay, that's it. No more bling. No more bling for me porque luego me corren. All right, let's close this up. Close up shop. All right, so for whoever asked about um, the bling adhesive closing shut, little bug, get out of here. Don't close it all the way, like super tight, because if you're any anything like me and you get glue on the rim, I literally just close a cap and turn it once or twice. So as long as I can't really open it no more, that's it. I just leave it like loose. I don't know if you could see, but it's loose. And just enough to close it so that if it tips over, it doesn't like spill on your shit, you know? But over time, once it gets all crusty and all of that, then, um, then how to call it, um, it won't close no more, which is fine. And then just spray the activator. What helped you learn your blink placement like design? Girl, I just place them on the caigan. For being a lefty, you did a great job with your right hand. Thank you. I actually have a few years of practice. In the beginning, no mames, me quedaban extra, extra lumpy. So now I'm just going to go in and clean my nails with the alcohol again. So any of the residue from the activator um, won't lift or chip my gel. Oh, I can't wait to see this glitter in action. Should I do my nails matte or shiny? What do y'all think? Fuck. I got a little napkin on. Should I do matte or shiny? Well, I'm going to do the shiny ones first, just in case. All right, let me open my top coat. So I'm going to be using the one and only Zule top coat. Shiny. 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 Okay. 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 Matte. Ooh. Shiny. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do the shiny one first. Are you ready? Hold on. Let me move my finger. Matte. Hey, Juju. Glitter shiny. The, res the rest matte. Shiny. Ooh. Everybody's telling me shiny. I know, huh? Last time I had matte. So glitter shiny pink matte. Okay, well, let's do this one shiny first and then y'all see. Are you ready for nail gasm? Dun, dun. Wow. I hope the camera does this justice because this shit is fire, honey. Según yo, I went slowly to make it emoción, pero pinche live is slower than me. Hold on, let me show you. Ooh, honey. 
so beautiful. Oh my god, I just had a nail gasm. Too bad I was not recording it so I could post it later. Alright, let me make sure that my sides are nicely sealed. Because if you don't seal all the edges, your shit's gonna chip. Oh my god, you do not cure the bling. And he said that she was using. Hmm? What? 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 So should I do matte and shiny? Or just shiny? I'm kind of digging the mat, not gonna lie. My man recognizes your voice when I'm watching your lives. Ah, oh, that's funny. What's his name, Nancy? So we could give him a shout out right now. All shiny. All right, I'm gonna do the pinky next so that we can see what the shiny looks like with the pink. Just shiny. What did you spray? Um, I sprayed the Mia Secret Activator so that my glue can fully dry. Um, because if you wet it when it's still not fully dry, it'll turn white. And I needed to clean. I need to clean my, um, my nail for the top coat. Matt, no, sorry. What? No, seriously, my boyfriend knows Ule when he hears her. <laughs> oh, his name is Junior. Hey, Junior. Both matte looks bomb. Shiny. Hold on, let me show you guys shiny so you can decide for me. Junior. What's up, Junior. Ooh, como que tengo un pegoso de glue en esta, pero, oh well. So, check it out. My hubby, too, he knew you were from Sinaloa by hearing you talk. Shiny, matte. Shiny, matte. Shiny as fuck. Zule, do you want to buy my cupboard machine? It's brand new, girl. Not Roseanne. Thank you for the offer, but I already have, um, I already have two of them. Shiny for sure. Ooh, shiny se ve bien perrona. Okay, shiny it is. Ya me, ya me, ¿cómo se dice? Ya me, ya, fuck bitch, I had a brain fart. You guys convinced me. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, go around that bling, bling, bling. I know everybody's saying matte, but right now everybody says shiny. So we're just gonna listen to you guys shiny because last time I did matte. So are you guys ready for this glow though? Right now when it comes out the lamp, you guys are gonna see the glow. The shiny makes the crystal stand out more. I feel like matte makes them stand out a lot, but shiny is my favorite. I feel like, oh, and then I could stain them if they're matte. What the fuck is this little white thing? Do the middle finger matte. Mm, I think it's going to have to be shiny too. All of them are going to be glossy. My next set that I do for my YouTube video, I'll do it matte. I just don't know what color I'm going to do for my YouTube. Probably blue. I haven't seen any ocean sets this year on Instagram, so I might do one of those. Every year I do one, so. Matte makes bling pop, but it also stains sometimes. Yes, the other day with my nude, the ones that I took off, um, I had a color had matte with my V French, and I bought these new dark blue jeans. Yo de pendeja, when I wash my hands, I always dry them on my pants like a little kid. And how to call it, my nose got stained. 
my nails got stained and they were like a whole new shade all right now now the thumb there's a fucking bug over here i wish you do class in dallas girl i don't travel but maybe one day one day one day especially right now with like covid and all of that Como que no me animo. See, next weekend I'm thinking going live, showing off the giveaway you win. Ms. Zule, will you join? Um, well, it depends if I'm available because a bitch is busy. Especially if it's in the weekend, I work. Where are you from? I'm from California. Can we get the acrylic colors, please? Um, this The pink color is the glow pink from my website. Everything that I use today is from my website. And the nude color is called Cover Pink Nude. And I use the new glitter Spice Me Up along with it on top to give it that sparkle glitter effect. All right, time to to um put it in the lamp. All right. Let me turn off the light so you guys can see the glow right now. Hold on. Oh shit, it's dark, bitch. Damn, Mary. Wait. Start dropping shit. I can't see. <laughs> so right now, Oi. my nails are so long that they don't even fit in the fucking lamp. Does the glitter already have acrylic in it? Um, yes, it does. It's pre-mixed with clear acrylic. Don't get las uñas sideways porque no caben. That's another thing about this lamp that I don't really care for. I feel like long nails don't fit in here. Ooh, you cuckoo. You bought another lamp? Um, yes, when I bought my white one. Shit, hold on. When I bought the white one, I bought the pink one too. So I could have one here and one at the salon. But my nails don't fit. I literally have to put them sideways. Zule, can you tell me again what it was that you once a year, hmm? Can you tell again what it was that you once a year? I don't understand, Mina. I don't know what I said. Once a year. How many K lamps you got, girl? I got two of them. I got a white one and a pink one. Um, Like two months ago or something like that. But... I took the white one, the one that I blinged out to, how to call it, um, to the salon. And this one is for here. Oh, the ocean. Yes. So every year, I always do like some ocean inspired nails. Thank you for reminding me. I have a bad memory. But I haven't done any this year and I feel like it's already August. So maybe for my YouTube video, I'll do like ocean nails. All right, y'all ready for the the glow? I had the wrong setting right now, so. Mm. Ready or not? Ooh, honey. Hold on, and put them in a little more. I think it does dry a little slow. I need to cover the little light too. So it could be completely dark. Literally my nails are sideways because they don't fit. Um, when in summertime, so it's cool, right? We in summertime. Yeah, we in summer. 
Summer's not over until September. My birthday's coming up on August 15. My twin sister are on August. Ooh, let me turn it off. I know I'm going to turn it off right now. Hold on. I forgot about that. Ready? 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 I was like, why is my index finger not glowing, bitch? Wow. Wow. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, hell yeah, honey. Drum roll, please. Din, 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 din. Glow sticks in action, bitch. All right, ahora sí tengo que prender la luz porque se me va a matar a la verga. Zoom, zoom. Check it out, honey. The nails. All right, so this is the finished product. Actually, let me put on some cuticle oil because the bitch is dry. A bitch is hella dry. What is this bug? Get out of here, you little bug. Die, fucking hoe. I'll have the window open so all these little flying shits are coming through. They're like long little bugs that fly. Oh, fuck. Put it on my nail by accident. Let me close my window really fast. Because we don't need none of these little bugs coming in here. Oh, they're attracted by the light. They're like little fly looking thingies. There, I close it. When you need to see the dark so you don't stub your toe. <laughs> I know. I already got hurt. So this is what they look like. Right now they look a little magenta because they're still glowing. But bitch. Damn, me pasó de verga con el aceitito. That bug tried to hop in the camera. I know is your room an extra room you had? Um, yes. Actually, it was not extra because I already had it planned that it was gonna be a little nail room for me. But yeah, it's extra. It's my little nail room slash office. So there it is. So shiny, look at that. Ooh, honey, so beautiful. What's your favorite brand of acrylic? Astrid, I'm gonna say my own because I love my products. They bomb. That's all I use now. Well, actually, no, I use whatever I got, but if I have a choice, this is all I would use. No mames, wey, si me pasé de length. Let's see. Let me read a couple comments before we go home. How do you full bling on a nail without making my nail look fat? Um, Just don't put the bling on the side. Yes, Amber. Thank you, girl. Backing me up today. Damn, they bright. Van a ser tus night lights. You yep, don't put too much bling on the free edge so they don't lose their shape. Yes, honey. What glitter is that? Girl, it's my new one. It's, um, what the fuck is it called? The, um, fuck, I forgot for a good second. It's the Spice Me Up glitter. The glow color is, um, hot, glow hot pink. 
What color is the one on the index finger? I ended up using two colors. I put Cover Pink Nude underneath and the Spice Me Up glitter on top to give it that effect because the color is transparent. So if you want like an in person to be nicer. If you think it looks pretty here, in person it looks way prettier. Yup, I see myself poking myself too. I hope not though. All right, guys. Pues ya me voy, ya me voy a la verga. I'm gonna go. Um. Oh yeah, spice me up or spice me out or something spice. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to go char charge your phone. <laughs> Don't forget to go show some love to my page right now when I go post these nails. Okay. Bye. Good night. Um, Sylvia, I think I sent it to you in your package. I don't remember. But I think it was included. I don't remember. Yes, I do prefer stiletto. Good night. Bye. Get ready to rip your leggings. Girl, I don't wear leggings. I'm fat. I don't do leggings. <laughs> Bye.